Hello, Cancer. This is your mid-month reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, guys. If you're interested in a personal, that information is down below the video, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. We're going to do a Celtic cross today. All right, guys. It's early, so <laughs> I am trying to wake it up. All right, here we go. This is the energy that is surrounding you, okay? Four of Pentacles. Let's see what's crossing you. The Tower. Hmm, what your challenge is. Hmm. In your foundation, we have the Page of Wands. In your recent past, we have the Two of Wands. In your best possible outcome, we have the Emperor. The Near Future. We have the Eight of Pentacles. How you see yourself is the Queen of Wands. Your outside influence is the Page of Cups. Your hopes, we have the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Your fears is the Nine of Swords. And your overall outcome, we have the Lovers. Hmm. Love, love, love. So we start off with the energy that is around you right now is the Four of Pentacles. I think you're just trying to protect yourself here, my Cancer friends. I think you've been hurt for sure. So you're guarded and... Um, I think you're coming off of, you know, a really devastating loss here for you. And so you've gotten to a point where, you know, you're comfortable just kind of keeping yourself to yourself, not extending your energy, not, you know, sharing your time with anybody because you've been hurt. This is like your safe zone here. Okay. If you don't let anyone in, then guess what? they can't hurt you so that is um that is where you are right now but you're being challenged to wake up and see that you know there is more out there for you okay whatever happened whatever you lost whatever devastated you is not the end all be all there is something good that can come out of this Okay, there is something else out there for you. This is a challenge for you to wake up, to come out of your safe zone. Okay, you're being challenged to come out of your safe zone here. Let's see how you view yourself. You view yourself as a queen of wands. Um, I think, you know, you're mature. I think you know exactly what it is that you want. Um, and I think you go for what you want usually okay um and i think right now you have just settled into this place where you feel like you know this is just where you want to be like you don't want to let anyone in to your space and you just like you have your mind set on that okay and the reason why you're here is because you know you're kind of going back and forth. This is where your your challenge is coming in at to realize that there is something else out there that's better for you. And I see that's why you're here because the page of wands is somebody that is realizing that, you know, there's something else I want to do. Um, there, there's something that I'm interested in. There's something that's better suited for me. But it's like you're just kind of waking up and realizing that I don't have to be stuck. I don't have to allow somebody else um, to affect how I move from here on out. Okay. And in the past, you know, it's like you, you decided that. Um, you're just going to be by yourself, get yourself together. And I think this is like you being strong enough to kind of take a time out to regroup here. Take time out for yourself to see exactly how you want it to move. Um, also, this is also, this is also somebody else taking 
taking, you know, a different path other than you. Somebody else involved in your life choosing a different path. Okay. For a while, you yourself was at a crossroads over this. Maybe somebody was domineering over you. And maybe that's why, you know, you felt very like shaken when this person chose a different path from you. Okay, because I think that you were going to be there regardless. You were actually holding on to this individual as well. Energetically, even if they did walk away physically, you were holding on. Your challenge is to really come to grips with the fact that you do not need anyone or anything in your life that is not solidly there for you to know when to let it go to to so that you won't be so devastated when you realize that something is not good for you being able to just let it go without complete devastation okay and let's see the best possible outcome for you is the emperor yeah knowing when to take your hands off of something and just let it be if if it's something that you know, you don't need in your life, do not actively try to keep it there. Just let it go. Let it fly. If it's meant for you, it will come back to you because the emperor does not move. Okay. You have a lot of Aries energy here in your reading. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is, this is you building on yourself. This is you realizing that, you know, certain things are going to work for you. Certain things are not. But this is something, something's coming in for you that is going to work in your favor. You will have people that come into your life that really want to work with you. Really want to figure out a way to build with you. To migrate with you. Okay? If you're growing, they will grow with you. Okay? You will have that coming in for you. Virgo energy here. Your outside influence is the page of, of cups. Somebody that's wanting to offer love to you. Somebody that has a lot of affection for you. Um, it's just in the beginning stages though. It's like... You know, because you're not really that open to just jumping into things. So, and I think this person realizes this. So they're kind of like taking it, you know, slow with you. Because I think they know that you've been through um, some pain, some hurt. Okay. And let's see what your hopes are. Your hopes is, yeah, that somebody does come in and offer you know, something legitimate, something that is stable, something that is grounded, something that is authentic. You want authenticity. You want originality. You want somebody that, you know, genuinely has, um, you know, true affection, true loyalty to offer to you. Okay, somebody that's, that's you know, excited about you. They look forward to seeing you. They look forward to being around you even, okay? Now, in your fears, we have the Nine of Swords. You know, you don't want to, you really don't want to, you want to let go of past issues. You don't want to feel like, you know, everybody's against you or this person may not be good for you when they actually are. You really want to be able to discern what is going to be good for you and what is not honestly and truly you want to let go of whatever energy that caused you this devastation that caused you to hold on to yourself to be closed off from people you know to not be that trust and you want to let go of that your fear is that you know that will repeat itself okay now in the overall outcome here we come with the lovers I do believe the person that is coming in for you will be so very attracted to you. 
will want to spend a lot of their time with you. They feel like you guys belong together. You will feel like you guys belong together. And I feel like this will be a very successful union. But it is going to take some time. And I do think that this person realizes this. Could be a Gemini that you guys are dealing with. Um, any water sign like yourself. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Aries is here. Capricorn is here. Virgo's here. Um, does not have to be those signs, but that is um, the energy that's present. So just take this situation as it resonates for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.